the major assignment of an altar is to give authorization and continuity to any spiritual activity on earth whether godly or demonic please look up do you understand the meaning of this 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 point i just stated that the assignment of an altar is number one to give authorization to a spiritual activity but number two to give continuity that means anything that is recurrent and remains is powered by an altar this immediately becomes the litmus test to check the presence of altars good or bad are we together please don't forget this one this will be a the foundation of our discussion every time god made promises or made a covenant or said he was going to do something to the patriarchs and to their children immediately they would build an altar so that even when they were not there there would be a platform for the continuity of that statement is somebody learning now write this down please you can know the presence of an altar in any life any family and any region by the consistency of patterns and occurrences whether good or bad this is powerful that means if certain good things keep happening to you regardless the surrounding circumstances there is an altar that is powering that that is happening if certain evils and certain patterns keep reoccurring regardless the effort you are putting is because it is being powered by altars for example salvation salvation is being powered by an altar that is why any day and any time anyone confesses Jesus you don't have to be there an angel does not have to be there to supervise it there is an altar already that supports that ordinance that whosoever believes in the name of the Lord that person shall be saved and the altar that powers that statement is the very throne that God sits on yes that means you don't need to travel from America to Nigeria to be saved like to give your life to Jesus Christ regardless location regardless time regardless age regardless gender you can listen to a message of TL Osborne even though the man has died but the message is powered by an altar because the truth is communicating there is from the word of God and if you believe that message you can repent there and give your life to Jesus and the altar that was connected to that statement makes that statement true in your life immediately if salvation were not powered by an altar it would be impossible for all men to be saved 